see Mittenfloss. He's after the dog again. <laughs> what are you having? Uncle oh, Joe. What does he want the dog for? I don't know. He must have a grudge against him or something. Who doesn't? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Did the dog ever do anything to Hinky? He wouldn't have to. Ever since Hinky got to be dog catcher, he's been out to make a name for himself. He wants to break the county dog catching record so he can run for governor. <laughs> well, he's not going to use our dog to help him. I told you to get out of there. Mom, look! He can't come in here and take the dog, can he? I don't think so. Where's the dog? He's hiding in my nice, clean laundry. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? To get the dog. Oh, I hate to disagree with you. Y'all interfering with a county officer in the performance of his duty. Looks more to me like I'm drawing a bead on a trespasser. <laughs> yeah, you got no right in here without a searching warrant. Why don't you leave the dog alone? He's under suspicion. For what? For sneaking around a couple of chicken coops. Oh, well, he didn't mean any harm. He likes chickens. He likes to play with them. Oh, yeah? Then why was he licking his chops? Well, maybe he was thinking about sinking his teeth into you, you... Let me tell <laughs> Just because Hinky is a no-good, low-down, mean excuse for a human being is no reason to call him names now. You get out of here and you don't come back. Yeah, get it. I'm warning you, I'm gonna get that dog if it's the last thing I ever do. Don't you worry, boy. Hinky's gone. <laughs> the racket. I'm yelling for the dog. Well, would you mind yelling a little more quietly so I can get some sleep? Well, I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Uncle Joe, what's the matter with you? Waking up, Betty Joe? Me? You probably woke up Mr. Roberts, too. That wasn't me banging it. It was Betty Joe. I don't care who it was. We finally get a guest in the hotel. Let's keep him here. Mom, the dog hasn't come home. Pinky Mittenfloss must have caught him. Oh, no, he didn't. He's probably out socializing with some of his lady friends. Pinky Mittenfloss don't have no lady friends. <laughs> I meant the dog. <laughs> don't worry, he'll come home. Well, I hope so, so I can get some sleep. Come on, let's go in the house. Come on. Lock the door. Aren't you coming to bed? Well, I think I'll just stay up a little while in case he does come home. All right. But no more banging or hollering. Here, boy. Here, boy. Or whispering. chickens. No, no. Yeah, he's a killer. Well, that must be a mistake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not true. Tell Mr. Mittenfloss he's wrong. Tell him you didn't do it. Either your dog's a chicken killer or he's molting. <laughs> there's only one place in the county where there's mud like that, and that's Luther Craig's farm. Oh, dog. I arrest you for the murder of three chickens. Oh, you poor dog. He's innocent. 
that's what they all say. What are you going to do to him, Mr. Mittenfloss? What we do to all killers. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to desert you. How much is his bail? Murder ain't a bailable offense. Don't you worry. We'll get you out. We'll get you a lawyer. Oh, you can't take a dog into court. Suppose we ask the lawyer about that. Please, will one of you tell me what this is all about? Well, the reason why can't you hold it? Hold it. Isn't that the whole story? Now, Mrs. Bradley, suppose you tell me the whole story from the beginning. Well. This morning, this a horrible man came to the hotel and arrested him, but he's innocent. You've got to get him off. I'll do my best if I could just get some idea what this is all about. Well, tell him what happened, Mom. Right. Well, he was dragged off like a common criminal. <laughs> he didn't even have a chance to deny anything. Deny what? That he killed them. Killed them? You mean this is a homicide charge? No. Murder. <laughs> Joe, will you let Mom tell this? Yeah. Well, one murder's bad enough, but accusing him of three. Three? But he's innocent. Innocent, I tell you. Uh, maybe I better talk to the defendant myself. Now, uh, where did they take him? The county pound. The county pound? Mm -hmm. They put him in solitary. He looks so sad. Uh, what are we talking about? The dog. Well, I thought this was a homicide. Well, it is. He's accused of killing three chickens. <laughs> I'm afraid there's been a mistake. He sure has. He didn't do it. Well, I mean, if you expect me to defend a dog. You're a lawyer, ain't you? Of course I'm a lawyer, but my clients are usually people. Then maybe you could recommend a good uh, dog lawyer. You can't try a dog. That's what Hinky Mittenfloss said. Yeah, and he's a one-man dictator. Isn't there any way we can save his life? Well, I... Where'd you study law? State University. You should have gone to one of them big colleges like the Harvard School of Yale and learned some of the loophole. <laughs> hey, wait a second. There was a case. Uh, what was it? The State versus Fido, Bowser, uh, uh, Rex? Oh, here it is. The State versus Rover. Now, I, uh, I think this might solve your problem. In 1897, the state Supreme Court ruled that under certain conditions, a dog was entitled to a fair and impartial trial. Oh, Mom, he's free. He's free. No, no, it just means that he's entitled to a trial. Oh, but when you get him on the witness stand... Now, he... wait a second. Oh, you will handle the case. Well, I don't think so, but uh, I'm sure that you could handle the case, Mrs. Bradley. Me? I don't know anything about lawyering. Oh, Mom, you saw Perry Mason a couple of times. I'll handle it. I saw it three times. I have a feeling that Mrs. Bradley would do a better job. Oh, Mom, you've got to. Well, I... Oh, I'm sure you could do it, Mrs. Bradley. Well, I'll try. And now, how much do we owe you? Oh, nothing. I didn't do anything. You sure didn't. Well, you gave us advice. My pleasure. In that case, could I ask you one more question? Well, certainly. How about lending us these books? <laughs> Feel, Mom. Nervous. Oh, there ain't nothing to being a lawyer. All you gotta do is jump up and say, I object on the ground that you're reverent and immaternal. <laughs> Everybody rise. Hear ye, hear ye. The county superior court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Murdoch presiding. Hmm. Bailiff, what's the first case on the docket? The People versus John Doe, Your Honor. Court. He's the defendant, Your Honor. <laughs> order! Order! Now, what kind of nonsense is this? Go on, tell him, Mom. Uh, it, it's, it's this kind of nonsense. Uh, and who are you? I'm, I'm the dog's lawyer. Dogs have no rights in a court of law. That's what I told them. But, but Your Honor, uh, I, I think you're a little ignorant. <laughs> order! Madam, do you realize you have insulted the court? Oh, she ain't trying to insult the court. Just you. No, no, no Your Honor. I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you, but there is a case I think does make a difference. What case? This one. Kate, you have to ask permission before you approach the bench. C can I approach the 
bench? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Order. Uh, let me see that case. State versus Rover. <laughs> it seems that I am in error. Well, uh, now that that's settled, can we get going? Uh, Any time, uh, uh... Oh, I'm Kate Bradley. Now, are you going to act as the dog's counsel? Yes, sir. All right, well, let's get started. Yes. Now, uh, uh, what is the dog's name? He doesn't have one. Well, how do you call him? Well, like this. <whistles> <laughs> Now, I should like to make something clear. This is an unusual case. Nevertheless, the decorum of this court is going to be maintained or I shall clear the courtroom. Now, Hickey, are you going to act as prosecutor? You're darn right I am. All right, call your first witness. I call Luther Craig to the stand. Luther Craig, take the stand. <laughs> Luther, what did you do after you heard the noise in your chicken coop? Well, I got up, grabbed my shotgun, and went outside. I saw this here dog running from the hen house, so I let go with both barrels. Mm, did you hit him? No, I forgot to load my shotgun. <laughs> Order. What did you do then? Well, I went in the hen house and found three dead chickens. And then what did you do? Called you. By me? You mean uh, Hanky Mittenclaus, the uh, dog catcher? I said I called you. Now stop trying to get votes. <laughs> Could you identify the killer? Well, sure could. Is he in the courtroom now? That's the fiend that killed my poor defenseless chickens. He done it. <laughs> You're a witness. Let's see you get out of that one. Go on, Mom. It's your turn. Do as I told you. But, Mom... Don't I... argue. Out in the hall. years, haven't you? Maybe. Miserable weather we've been having lately, isn't it? Ain't saying. Oh, you must have noticed how dark the nights have been. Ain't saying. What ain't you saying? I ain't saying what I ain't saying. Your Honor, doesn't he have to say what he ain't saying? <laughs> Luther, you are directed to say what you ain't been saying. <laughs> I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to trick me into saying it's so dark I couldn't have seen that dog kill my chickens. Which he did. <laughs> Order. We'll hear your testimony later. I mean, uh, <laughs> proceed. Your Honor, could I have the lights turned off in the courtroom? What for? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't work. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, would one of you gentlemen close that shade? Maybe if you mind. Was it this dark, Luther? Maybe. Anyway, would you mind identifying again the horrible fiend that killed your chickens? With pleasure. Him. You sure that's the killer? I'd know him anywhere. Lights. <laughs> in the record that the dog fiend identified by Luther is the proud mother of seven kittens. <laughs> order, order. No more questions. Uh, you may step down, Luther. <laughs> Dr. Enright, you're in geology, ain't you? I'm a geologist. Mm. Well, uh, will you take a look at these? A is a sample of the mud uh, taken from Luther's place, the scene of the crime. B is the mud taken from the, the killer's paws after I took him in. Uh, did you have a chance to look at them? Yes, I analyzed them in my laboratory. These samples are identical. Uh, doctor, uh, would you put that in uh, simple English so that the judge can understand it? <laughs> <laughs> well, to the best of my knowledge, the only place in the valley where this soil can be found is on Luther Craig's farm. Thank you, Doctor. You have just proven that that dog was at Luther's place when he killed those three chickens. You better object. I object. On what grounds? 
Well, I... On what grounds? On the grounds that he's ruining our case. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, this, um... This mud that Hinky just threw at us was kind of a surprise, so I wonder if we could have a little time to figure it out. Are you asking for a recess? Well, if that's the legal way to get some time to think it over, hmm? <laughs> what recess till 2 o'clock this afternoon? What are you gonna do? There's only one thing we can do. Have the dog sign a confession, throw himself on the mercy of the court. <laughs> Mr. Randall and see if he can think of anything. How can he think of anything? We've got his books. <laughs> He suggested that we get a sample of some other mud, like Luther's mud, to show that Luther isn't the only one with that kind of mud. But how do you expect to prove that? By our next witness. But it's not your turn to call a witness. Well, then how am I going to prove that somebody else could have mud like Luther has? Well, it's irregular, but so is the whole case. Uh, who's the witness? Arnold Ziffel. Call Arnold Ziffel. Arnold Ziffel, take the stand. Come on, Arnold. Get that pig out of here. But that's Arnold. Is this a court or a zoo? Your Honor, Arnold is the best exhibit of mud that we could get. Oh, by the way, this is Fred Ziffel. Your Honor, Arnold and me are mighty proud to know you. Why, thank you. I... <laughs> you please get to the point. Well, as you can see, Arnold is a pig. And as you know, Your Honor, pigs love to wallow in the mud. And he's the best little waller in the valley. <laughs> if Your Honor will compare Arnold's mud with Luther's mud, you'll find out that they're the very same. I object, Your Honor. You ain't a mud expert. Can we borrow your mud expert? Get your own! <laughs> your Honor. Would you mind not banging that thing? Arnold's got sensitive ears. <laughs> oh, I apologize. Oh, Dr. Enright. Uh, Dr. Enright. Would you mind comparing the witness's mud with a sample? <laughs> Scrape some mud off it. Well, scrape easy. He's got skin like a baby. <laughs> Your Honor, I made a mistake. I thought Mr. Craig's farm was the only place that had this type of mud. But I was wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Arnold. Your Honor. Can I say something about the dog? I object. Uh, what do you want to say, Mr. Ziffel? Well, sir, it's just like this. Uh, now, me and Arnold has known that dog for more than a year. In fact, he's one of the best friends Arnold's got. <laughs> they play together, you know, and get in devilment together. Arnold lets the dog listen to his radio. <laughs> what is the point of all this? Well, the point is, you see, Arnold, he don't make friends easy. And he's a mighty good judge of character. In fact, you won't let my wife come near him. <laughs> Why? Oh, what I'm saying is this, Your Honor. Anybody that Arnold trusts ain't no chicken killer. Now, thank you for your time, Your Honor. I've got to get Arnold home. It's time for his nap. <laughs> Important witness, John Doe Dog. <laughs> May take the stand. Would you mind telling me how you expect a dog to testify? Oh, it's very simple, Your Honor. He boxed once for yes and twice for no. Would you like me to demonstrate? <laughs> Is Hinky Mitten Floss the dog catcher? <laughs> Do you like him? I don't believe it, but go ahead. Raise your right paw. Do you 
swear to tell the truth? We can dispense with that. Oh, believe me, Judge, he, he, he always tells the truth. <laughs> now then, listen carefully. Are you, or have you ever been, a chicken killer? <laughs> Did you kill Luther Craig's chickens? <laughs> <clears throat> Your witness. There's no point in my questioning him. I wouldn't believe a word he said. <laughs> John Doe Dog? Step down. This is one of the strangest cases it's ever been my unfortunate duty to try. <laughs> However, based on the evidence and based on the defendant himself, I find it difficult to believe that he would attack three defenseless chickens. So therefore... Let go! Let go! Now, what's going on down there? He stole my lunch, Your Honor, a chicken sandwich. A chicken sandwich? I told you, Judge, he's chicken crazy. Live or in a sandwich. No! No! In that case, I find him guilty and sentence him to the maximum penalty under the law for your vicious crimes. And I direct that he be taken from this place to the state penitentiary. No, no, he's innocent! <laughs> having a bad nightmare. Oh. Oh, I must have fallen asleep down here waiting for the dogs. Good morning. Good morning. You're Luther Craig. I beg your pardon? Mom, he's Luther Craig. Here, that's Mr. Roberts. You met him last night when he checked in. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. Oh, where's the dog? Oh, he slept in my room last night. He must have had a terrible nightmare, too. He ripped up one of your pillows. Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.